The Prime Minister John Key under fire over accusations that he's been scaremongering over so-called jihadi brides. Checkpoint revealed last night that none of the women who reportedly went to become the jihadi brides of Islamic fighters actually left from New Zealand. They were all living in Australia before they left. The local Muslim community says they felt maligned by last year's coverage of the jihadi brides, saying it created an unnecessary suspicion around them. And some people are demanding an apology. John Key denied today trying to mislead the public over this issue. We didn't say that. I mean, it was the Director General that made the statement, um, and what she said was there were jihadi brides. The fact that uh, where they leave from is irrelevant, that the New Zealanders are New Zealanders, they may return to New Zealand, and so we have to deal with those issues. There are also people that may potentially leave, so who's, who's ultimately left is just one measure, and where they go from. As I said in my post cabinet press conference this week, um, we actually, um, there, are, there are a lot of people in the category that we're talking about, not just jihadi brides but right across the board who are dual passport holders for people that we know for instance have, have identified uh, operating in Syria or Iraq uh, for ISIL are uh, often dual passport holders. The Prime Minister says no apology is necessary to the Muslim community in New Zealand. He says the relationship with the community is strong. SIS already do. They have quite a big outreach campaign with them and they speak all the time but in the end a New Zealander is a New Zealander. It doesn't matter where they lead from. The issue around the risk, obviously, of anyone that might operate in that way as a foreign fighter or as a jihadi fighter or whatever, the risk is if they return to New Zealand. If you hold a passport, that's where the risk. The risk is, 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 is only to that individual if they go to that, the other country or ultimately if they're a foreign fighter, then obviously the people in that environment. But in terms of New Zealanders themselves, the risk is always for returning people. Do you get the reports on that, that consultation? Uh, I don't get reports on it, but I know, I'm aware of it. I mean, we, I meet regularly with the director. I think that's the Islamic Women's Council say that there's very little, if not no, engagement. Well, look, uh, th there were comments made by the Muslim community that there wasn't enough outreach. I raised that with the directors. They've been seeing them in quite a significant way. So my understanding is that they do.